I'm Dan Graziano and I'm here with a Google Chromebook. You've probably heard of these little computers. The big appeal is their price. Most models come in at under $400, while some even retail for as low as $300. These low price computers run Google's cloud-based operating system known as Chrome OS, which relies on an internet connection to run most apps. While this can be extremely useful, with no connection, it becomes a real pain. Most people aren't aware, however, that Chrome OS actually runs the Linux operating system, and these computers are capable of much more than you think. Today, I'm going to show you how to run both Chrome OS and Ubuntu, a popular Linux operating system, on your Chromebook. I recommend using at least an Intel Chromebook rather than an ARM version because Linux programs are more compatible with the Intel model. It also helps to use some sort of external storage, such as a flash drive or an SD card, so you have more space to install additional programs. So let's get started. The first thing you must do is enable the Chromebook's developer mode. This will erase anything you may have saved on the device's internal storage. Press and hold the escape and refresh keys, then press the power button. The Chromebook will then reboot into recovery mode. Press the control and D keys together when you see the yellow exclamation point, and then press enter to confirm the developer mode. You will hear two loud beeps. This is normal. Simply sit back and wait for the process to complete. It could take up to 10 minutes. Don't panic if you see a red exclamation point after it's done. Just wait and the Chromebook will reboot into Chrome OS. Next, you will have to download a tool known as Crouton, which you can find the link in my article. Sign into the Chromebook, download the tool, and save it to your download folder. Then press Ctrl-Alt-T to bring up the Chromebook's terminal. Type in Shell and hit Enter. Then type in this code in the command line. Crouton will take some time to install. Once it's complete, enter a username and password you would like to use. To enter Ubuntu, type the command sudo start unity in the terminal. When in Ubuntu, click on the first icon on the left hand side of the screen, search for the terminal, open it and type in sudo apt get update in the command line. When that's complete, type sudo apt get install software center. This will allow you to easily install various Linux programs. Simply open the software center and search for the program you want or download it from the company's website and open it and install it in the software center. To get back to Chrome OS, press the Control, Alt, and Back keys together. Control, Alt, Forward, followed by Control, Alt, Refresh can be used to return to Ubuntu. You can also open the Chrome OS terminal, type in Shell, followed by sudo start unity, either or works. One thing you will notice is that it takes longer for the Chromebook to power on. When you see the yellow exclamation point, simply press Control D to speed up this process. If you want to return the Chromebook back to normal, simply restart the computer and when you see the yellow exclamation point, press the space bar followed by the enter key. For more detailed information, including the links you'll need to get the job done, check out my article on howto.cnet.com. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.